Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm doing like a cruelty-free full face drugstore um, tutorial. Some stuff is old, some stuff is really new. I haven't tried yet. So the, for foundation, I'm going to start with the Physician's Formula Healthy, the Healthy Foundation Brightening Complex, and mine is in the shade LC1. I've always been a big fan of this foundation. It kind of reminds me of, I've seen a couple people put it out for like high-end dupes or similar, like they have similarities in finish. And I think it really does kind of, is comparable to a high-end foundation. Just gonna leave it. We won't do any concealing today. But the palette I'm gonna use today is the um, Essence Spice Up Your Life palette. I feel like it's just like perfect for like this time, like November, like. I feel like this palette is just like perfect Thanksgiving palette. I, I, there's like actually um, a good de decent number of mattes in here. So I'm going to start off by putting on this e.l.f. Um, so I'm going to start off by putting my soft beige e.l.f. eye cream. One of those, I forget what it's called. I'll, I'll put it in the thing. I kind of forget like the, the specific name because they don't put it on here. But I did a review on these and I really like them. This is in soft beige. I have all the shades of them. I do recommend checking them out. They are like really, really nice. Uh, it kind of dries to a kind of a semi matte finish, but I like pat it out almost to like no, like non-existent. Set that dry. I'm gonna just go ahead and set my brows. I didn't. Do, I'm not gonna do any color in them or pencil. I'm just gonna do a gel. So I'm just gonna use the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. Like that is kind of matting, like drying down. I kind of go back and forth with brows whether I want to fill them in or not. And I guess I'm kind of lucky with having to not, because there are some people that like have like almost non existent brows. So I kind of go in with like two coats of this. So I'm going to take this shade, it's called Habanero Honey. It's it's got a little bit of sheen to it, but it's not overpowering sheen, and it's kind of a bit of a pink tone. And I'm going to take this on the outer corner and blend it into the crease, and kind of on the lid. Almost like our transition shade. Almost. I've seen some reviews on this um, Spice Up Your Life palette from Essence, and I feel like it's probably one of their better palettes that they've come out with. Now I've liked a lot of their stuff. I guess some people, you know, don't. I, I'm i okay with a subtle shadow. Sometimes people want it to just be like, you know, one and done. But I just think that sometimes not super pigmented shadows can really play good on their own, you know? Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just not dip my brush. I'm going to go ahead and dust it off and uh, just continue to blend out that shade because you can see that it's on there. So the next shade I'm going to go in with is called Hot Chili. Right here. Oh, I dug my fingernail into wild pepper. So I'm going to go in Hot Chili. I'm not using any very like mattes right now, I guess. Maybe we'll go in with those later, but I'm just kind of drawn to these shades. Playing with these colors are fun too. <laughs> I'm going to blend that in the crease. Shade Mold Wine, and I'm going to try to just build that up on the outer corner and really just kind of bring it in almost like a liner shade. But it's one of the matte shades, so we're going to see how this performs. It is kind of dusty. It's not necessarily a bad, bad thing. But, oh, that's actually not too shabby. Look at that. Blending out like really quickly, but not like blending out to nothing, but like almost blending out. I don't know, I'm impressed with this palette. Sometimes I just put that shade on the other eye, just kind of stamping it, and then I'm gonna blend. I'm like super in, in love with this palette so far. I mean. 
right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a clean, clean brush and just go ahead and try to blend some of the edges like majorly. Because there is a nice, a couple nice highlight shades in here, so I'm stoked to play with those. I want to go a little bit darker in the. So there's two shades I'm kind of interested in. There's called it's called cinnamon rolls, which that just reminds me of Thanksgiving and Christmas anyway. And then um, wild peppers. So I'm gonna swatch wild pepper to see how much glitter comes off. Actually, glitter kind of sticks. So I'm gonna go ahead and take cinnamon roll. Build my brush up. This is like I'm taking cinnamon roll is right here. It's almost it's like a muddy muddy kind of color. Very muddy. Not gonna I hope it doesn't look muddy on the eye. But I'm just really building this in the crease, but mostly here in the outer portion. So see how this turns out. So I'm thinking it's kind of looking a little bit more smoky-ish. So I'm going to go in with the brush, this brush we used with the shade. We do use it, Malted Wine. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend a little bit more. I'm thinking that looks pretty good. I probably shouldn't have started with so many shimmers, but, you know, we're just playing around today. Tomorrow we can make it different. So let's go ahead and find it. I'm going to go ahead and take this... Um, curry in a hurry shade. It's like a nice yellowy mustardy gold color. Go ahead and get a clean brush. Just enough to make sure it's really clean. And I'm going to go ahead and take this on this portion of the lid. You can kind of see how it's kind of a mustardy color. I mean, it makes sense that it'd be kind of have the name Curry. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dust that same brush off, and I'm gonna take this. It's called Carmelts. Carmelts, I think. <laughs> it's like right here. It's a nice shimmery tone, and I'm gonna put that on the inner corner. We're kind of going shimmery with this, but if I feel like if you're bundled up in a sweater. This would be, I don't know, I like it. I guess you can do whatever you want. But I would recommend checking this out. I will link it in the, down, in, down below. I'm, not, I'm trying to figure out what it would be called, but it's pretty much just called that. So. so this shade, I wouldn't say has a good color payoff. It's just shimmery. So I'm going to take Vanilla Bean. Pretty much playing with almost all the colors I can in here. So party thyme. It's like a nice gold green shade, but it's spelled like thyme, like the herb. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this. It's on the other end of the naked cherry brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the outer portion of my lower lash line. Just blend this out. I haven't concealed yet, but I do have foundation on, so you can always pat a few things away. I'm gonna take pumpkin, pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice. I'm almost used almost all the shades in here. It is not a challenge. This one has really good color payoff. This pumpkin spice shade. That's what it looks like in palette. It's very pumpkiny, very orange. Alright, so that is my almost fall Thanksgiving inspired eye. I'm going to go ahead and conceal under my eyes real quick. This is just the um, NYX HD concealer. Like I've been using in almost every video. This was like a really popular concealer for a little while there. And then Chart Shape Tape just came in and stole the show. But I've yet to try that. I don't know, sometimes I just feel like when it comes to products such as like concealer and like mascara and like brow products, stuff that you have to replace constantly, I just feel like it's almost like overkill to spend so much money on it. And you can and do find things. 
So everything in here is either a drugstore item or drugstore prices because I guess Morphe is drugstore because you can get it in the drugstore this section at Ulta. But um, and before that sets too much, I'm going to go ahead and powder with my um, Wet n Wild powder. This is the pressed powder, photo focus powder in the shade Warm Light. Just go ahead and set our under eyes with that. Pat it on. And then just set a couple of spaces on the face too. Then I don't think I'm gonna wear any liner today. Maybe like maybe I can put a brown liner on. I'm looking good. Okay. So let me see what brown liners I actually have. I have this one from Elf. It's like one of those, <laughs> it's kind of cheap, but it's um, just one of those shimmery ones with a, pen, a sharpener on it. So I'm going to sharpen it a little bit to kind of get away the dryness. And let's try and put this on and see how it feels. So it's not very dark, so that's probably nice, nice and subtle especially in the outer corner. It's creamy, but like the pencil itself is kind of stiff. But with saying that, it's not necessarily bad because I feel like you have more control over it. So let's try over on this eye. That's what we got. That's that liner. I don't know what this shade is, but it's kind of like a coppery tone. It's supposed to be having glitter in it, but I, you don't see. Glitter doesn't come off like prominently at all with these, so. Don't be afraid. So the mascara that I'm going to use is the Essence Volume Style Mascara Curl and Hold Mascara. All right, so we have our mascara on. I'm going to go ahead and bronze with the e.l.f. Baked Bronzer in the shade St. Lucia. St. Lucia. I like St. Lucia anyway. So I'm going to take my Kirkland Tulip Brush. Just kind of warming up the face. <laughs> that's fun. So I'm going to take for blush. This is something that's rather, that's like definitely not new, but it's something I super, super love. It's this Mirabella blush in the shade Glory. And it has, it's like the most new, unique blush I've ever tried. And when I put it on, I'm just always so blown away. It almost is like, looks kind of like your lipstick, but... I love Mirabelle products. I need to like do like a full face of Mirabella. It's just kind of one of those products for me that stands out amongst the others. Do you know what I mean? Beautiful. It blends out beautifully. I need to get more of these. So that is on my list. Check out Mirabella. Check mark. So first I'm gonna go ahead. This is not a this is not a highlighter. This is a blush from Physicians Formula. Um, but it's one of their butter blushes in the shade Natural Glow, so it has like a highlighter quality to it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some of that, and then I'm going to do a different highlighter. This is just like almost like a blush topper, I would call this product. Or like, um, like a highlighter for a beginner, you know, that's not super crazy so overpowering, but it kind of gives you that something that you want. And this smells nice, like summer. It's very summer. So for the other highlighter that I'm going to use is the Makeup Revolution Jelly Highlighter in the color Dazzling. It's like the white tone. And with mine, I leave like this seal that's on it. You can kind of see it's kind of covered in product. And I just dip the, my brush or my sponge. I'm going to use my sponge today. I just dip it into the lid area. Get some on my little makeup sponge. And I find these products, these jelly products, apply actually really nicely with a sponge. So, I do have the Alme ones. That was before I decided Curlsy Free was my way to be. And I still like those. They're super fun to play with. I wear them, like, um, for, like, fun parties. Like, we went to this pumpkin thing at night, and I wore those look really cool under the lights and stuff. Right, that's so fun. 
These are so fun. They have other shades of these too. So I will link the Essence and this down below because they're like fun things. And they're rather, rel relatively new. So for my lips, I'm going to take three things. These are something I've talked about in the past. They're rather... They're rather um, not new to me. I've been loving them for a long time. And I repurchased them. But this one, um, this is the Tinted Brown Balance Lip Balance Tinted Brilliance Balm. Balance. I don't know why I say balance. But it's tinted, but very subtly. So I wanted to do two other things. But it's really moisturizing as well. So in this kind of weather when it gets really, really kind of frigidly cold and you're going out, you want to have really good moisturized lips. So the two other things I'm going to take are the e.l.f. Um, Glow Lipsticks in this shade um, Perfect Berry and Perfect Peach. So I'm going to take Berry first. And it's very purpley. And I always mix this one with the pink one or the peach one because it can really almost make you look a little bit frozen. And then taking the peach. It like pinks it up a little bit. But they're really glossy too. I've always recommended these. Alright guys, so that is the end of this video with the full face of drugstore cruelty free products. Um, if you guys did like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you like more videos like this, I will go ahead and do that. Uh-oh. Is there no sound? This whole video has no sound. That will be a really big fail. Anyways, so... <laughs> since my microphone is off. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave you guys here. If this video did work, it's up and you're seeing it. If not, then only I know. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.